Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us all begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Monday of the fourth week of the Easter season. And uh, I am concelebrating this Mass with uh, Reverend Father Romeo Tandok from the Diocese of Alaminos. He is turning 69 years old today. And so we pray for Father Tandok as he celebrates his uh, birthday today. And brothers and sisters, let us all make ourselves worthy to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gifts we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages and ending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. He is be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheath coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me, looking intently into it. I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God had made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. The six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us, when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the heart, O God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Please all stand. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hears his voice, as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger, they will run away from him, because they do, they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. What matters most in your life? Marahil ito ay simpleng tanong at narinig na natin no, na maraming beses, nadaanan na natin, nabasa na natin no, sa buhay natin no, at dumaan na ito. Pero maging ito may simpleng tanong o tanong na minsan ay uh, binabaliwala natin, kapag tinutukan natin ang tanong na ito ay mahalaga ang tanong na ito. Sapagkat dito sa tanong na ito ay uh, tinatangay tayo doon sa kasagutan o doon sa malalim na bahagi ng ating pagkatao, ng ating sarili. Ano nga bang mahalaga sa buhay? Ano ba ang mga pinapahalagan ko sa buhay? Sabi nga nila, kung nasaan ang iyong kayamanan, ay nandun din ang iyong puso. No? Where your treasure is, there your, will, your heart also be. Kaya nga, ano ba ang ating mga kayamanan? At ang kayamanan ay hindi lamang no, ay... Uh, tumutukoy sa mga material na bagay na meron tayo. Ang kayamanan ay pwedeng uh, tao. Kaya nga minsan o, o madalas o, sa buhay natin, no, ang mga magulang o isang pamilya, no, ay tinuturing ang kanilang mga anak, kanilang mga apo o bahagi ng kanilang pamilya bilang kayamanan, no? Every time a life is born in a family, no, we consider it a blessing, a precious gem no coming into the family. We are all treasures, precious to everyone, especially to people we love. And we have 
people whom we treasure. Pwede sila ang ating mga kayamanan, ang ating kayamanan na ipwedeng maging ang ating relasyon. No? Sapagkat ang relasyon ay mahalaga sa mundong ito, lalong-lalo na sa atin, sa bawat isa sa atin. Sapagkat ang mabuting relasyon na meron tayo, no, sa asawa, sa mga anak, sa kaibigan, sa ating kapwa, no, good relationships, human relationships that we have could save our day. No? This is a very good stress buster. No, kapag ka maganda ang ating pakikitungo sa mga taong uh, pinakikitunguhan natin sa araw-araw. No, sabi nga mawawala ang stress natin, no? Pag marami tayong kaaway, no, nakaka-stress. No, so this is very good for our psychological health, for our emotional health. So when these things make make us better persons and preserve us as whole persons, then they, we can consider these things as our treasures. Mahalaga sapagkat ito ay bumubuo sa atin at ito ay uh, uh, nagpapaibayo no, sa ating buhay. So it makes our life, our lives no, improved and better. Pwede rin ang kayamanan natin ay material na bagay. Pwede ang pera natin, ang laman ng bank account natin. No? So pwede uh, ang mga minana natin sa mga magulang natin. Ang kayamanan na meron tayo no, sa ating mga kamay, kung ano meron tayo ngayon, mga material na bagay. Mahalaga rin ang mga bagay na ito sapagkat they also give us our uh, material security. No? Sa, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, sa mundong ito, na no, kung saan marami ang wala, masa, marami no, ang uh, nangangailangan. No? So mahalaga at uh, hindi, kas, hindi sigurado no, kung ano ang darating na bukas para sa ating lahat. Tayo ay nasa gitna ng pandemya, nasa gitna pa rin tayo ng pagsubok. Hindi natin alam what will happen to us in the next coming months and even years. So, When we have something in, in, within our hands, no, it gives us a kind of sense of security. Kaya nga, kailangan meron tayo. No? It could be material things. Mahalaga rin ito. No? Uh, sapagkat ito ay ang magbibigay sa atin no? ng mga uh, simpleng pangangailangan natin sa buhay. Bubong natin sa ating uh, mga ulo sa tuwing gabi o kapag ka umuulan, mga damit na sinusuot natin, pagkain na kinakain natin sa araw-araw. No? We need money for that. Because in our world today, nothing no, seems to be free. No? Kahit nga yung mga community pantry natin, di ba? So you give a little when you take a little. No? So it's always a give and take relationship. No? We always give in order to get. No? So hindi lahat ng panahon ay libre ang mga bagay-bagay. We have to be secure. We have to have something no, in our hands. Mahalaga ang relasyon, ang mga tao, mahalaga ang uh, material na bagay. Basta tama ang ating paggamit, tama ang ating uh, pagsasabuhay sa mga ito. Sumalit may isang bagay pa no, na mas mahalaga kaysa sa mga material na bagay o kasi sa relasyon natin sa buhay. At ano ito? Ito yung pinapatungo o itinutukoy ng ating Panginoon sa araw na ito. Kanino ba kayo sumusunod? Where does your heart follow? Or to whom no, does your heart lead you? And Jesus is telling us through the gate. The gate. Jesus is the gate of the sheepfold. Yesterday we celebrated Jesus as the good shepherd. But today, no, he illustrates himself as the gate of the sheepfold. No, he's not only the good shepherd, but he's also the entrance, the entrance gate of the sheepfold. That everyone in the fold no, would recognize his voice, and everyone who recognizes his voice will follow him. No, the only treasure of the sheep is the voice of the shepherd. Because when they recognize the voice of the shepherd, they follow that shepherd. They do not follow the voice of the stranger because they do not recognize the voice of the stranger. They run away from the stranger. And so what does it mean? So is Jesus part of the treasures of our heart? So if our heart follows our treasure, then where is our heart leading us? To only this world in this material world only because our only treasure is the material things or also only to, in this world 
because the only treasure we have in our heart is our relationship. But our relationship does not guarantee eternal life. Kaya nga ang pinaka uh, matindi na pwede natin ipangako no, sa ating relasyon sa mundong ito ay hindi habang panahon. We do not promise forever to people. We can only promise a lifetime of relationship. Hanggang dito lang sa lupa ang ating ugnayan. No? Until death do us part. No? That could be the highest commitment no, that we could give to our human relationships. Why? Because we do not hold forever. We do not have forever in our hands. But only God can promise a relationship beyond this lifetime. That's why He promises eternal life. I have come to give you life and to have that life abundantly. And Jesus means, I am giving you eternal life. Again and again, Jesus has been promising to us this. The kingdom of God is here. Enter the kingdom of heaven. You are invited. No? And I want you to partake with me, to share with me happiness in heaven. Make this the ultimate treasure of your heart. Mahalaga ang relasyon, mahalaga ang material na bagay. Subalit, beyond this world, there is something more no, important than this. And that is our relationship with Jesus. He is the way, and He is the gate, and He is also our eternal life. And so, aside from these treasures that we cherish in our hearts, let us also put priority, no? the first in our list, relationship with God. Because if we seek first the kingdom of God, then everything else will be given back to you. Let us all stand. The Lord is the good shepherd who knows each one of his flock by name. Let us offer our prayers to God, trusting in his personal love for us. And with every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, God's chosen shepherd, may lead us into the ways of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian believers may become one flock under one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our young people may have life and have it the full through the fidelity to the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may trust in Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who came to rescue the lost sheep. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may pass through the gates of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the sick members of our families, especially those who are inflicted with the virus COVID-19, those who have died because of this uh, sickness, and uh, our loved ones who have gone also ahead of us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Father Romeo Tandok, celebrating his 69th birthday today, that the Lord may continue to keep him and uh, preserve him in the service as he uh, uh, embrace and pr uh, preserve himself in the vocation that uh, the Lord has uh, given him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, for those people we have promised to pray for, those who have no one to pray for them, and for the intentions of this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Your Son is always here beside us. Comfort us by granting these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we, their spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name, in the name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Full of love and confidence, we now pray to God our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and forgive and us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God take, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but Lord, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were, you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us offer Oracha Imperata for vocations. Let us turn to Mary Help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church. 
Let us all, let all our prayers be grant through your, through your prayer many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire your, our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the Apostle in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocations in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May you have a meaningful pilgrimage and please have a safe trip back home. We also thank, uh, uh, we also recognize and we say thank you to our brothers and sisters joining us by a live stream no? and uh, we continue to pray for each other and uh, we keep one another no? in uh, our intentions and thank you also very much Father Romeo Tandok for celebrating your birthday here at the Minor Basilica of uh, the Rosary of Malawag happy happy birthday Father and may Almighty God bless you all the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we shall have the blessing of your religious articles. Kung meron po kayong mga religious articles, pakilabas lang po ninyo. At bababa po ako dyan para basbasan na inyong mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayong umalis sa inyong kinaroroonan para mapanatili po natin ang ating mga agwat. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles, and those who will use them, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.